Hi there, my name is Anna. I am a belly dancer and a dance studio owner from Warsaw, Poland. Um, in this video I'll be talking about finger symbols. If you're a belly dancer or just a beginner finger symbol player and you'd like to find out more about what finger symbols are, how they sound and where to get them, I hope this video will be useful for you. So, first I'm gonna play uh, just for uh, a second so you can hear what sounds can be produced by finger symbols, what rhythms can be played, and then I'll present the different sets of finger symbols that I have, I own, and the ones I recommend, and also ones that I do not recommend. So hopefully this video will be useful for you. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so these are the finger symbols. They're also called zils, um, or in Arabic they're called sagat, and they have different names. However, the basic idea is that it's like a little metal instrument which you attach to your middle finger and your thumb with uh, elastic and you play this while dancing uh, most of the time while belly dancing however well they are not uh, only meant for belly dancing i mean there are musicians who just play them solo because this is a musical instrument and you don't need to be a dancer to play these and that's actually how I like to see them they're not a dance prop they are an instrument and you can um, you can just play their, play them uh, and create your own music and not just um, have them uh, accompany your dance okay I will be now telling you about different types, kinds, brands of finger symbols which are out there on the market. See, I live in Poland and, and we do not really have finger symbols available in stores. So you can't just um, go to a store and pick uh, and, and choose because there aren't just too many to choose from. So most of the time you just purchase them online. Most of the time also you need to ship them from another country, usually the US or uh, or somewhere from uh, Egypt, India, or just order them from eBay. eBay. We do have uh, um, people who sell them in Poland, but not in regular stores. Usually you just um, purchase them online. So I suppose it's probably also like this in your country, unless you live in a country where fingers and symbols are popular and you can go to any, I don't know, music store and pick them up from there. In which case I really, really envy you. Okay, so the ones I played for you are, they, they, the brand is Saroyan Zills. They, these are manufactured in the US. They are considered the best Zills out there. Um, and I do agree with that. Um, they are the, the sound they produce is very loud, clear. Um, they are also beautifully made. I don't know if you can see that, but they have these beautiful ornaments. And um, they shine. <laughs> um, they are really great. And they're fairly large and heavy. So, if you're just a beginner, uh, I'd say these might be uh, a challenge for you because 
they are quite heavy, so your hands and your palms will need to get used to their weight. So you will not only need to practice on and develop your um, skills with playing and with your fingers actually moving around quickly, you will also need to um, develop control of the instrument which may be a bit wobbly, which I will also talk about that issue in a second. So Sarian Zils, definitely a good choice. They come in different sizes, they can uh, they can weigh differently and they, they have uh, like they come in different colors because of the uh, type of metal that they're made of. You, I'll provide you with a link to their website. You can actually also play um, sound samples of how these sound. So these are good, even for beginners. Maybe not this large, but um, medium size finger symbols from Sarian are definitely a great choice. The second company uh, an international company which produces finger symbols is uh, these. They're called Turquoise International. Uh, they also come in different sizes. Um, this is size BE, that's B Economy, and I think these are my favorite finger symbols. I mean, the, uh, maybe a little. If they were a bit bigger, size B would probably be perfect for me. But let me tell you why. Um, compared to the Sarian Zills, these are smaller. Significantly smaller. However, I have small palms and my fingers are tiny and those sarions are quite large for my hands and I sometimes have difficulty playing them because they are so large. Uh, I keep hitting my palms. Maybe it's my fault because of my technique not being good enough. But still, these sound and feel really great. So let me play these for you. Um, They're not as loud as the Sarian Zills, but they are very comfortable. I found them really good quality, comfortable, they also uh, produce a clear sound. However, if you are a dancer and you need to purchase Zills, which, Zills, finger symbols, which you will play outdoors on a large stage, then definitely I'd say go for the big ones because these will not be as loud. Now, I have another set of turquoise sills, even smaller. See, they're a bit smaller than the ones I showed you. The economy, this, I'm not sure what this is called, I think A? Not sure though. And um, here's how these sound. See, they also produce a nice, clear sound, not as loud as the ones that I've presented to you before, but still, they are still good. However, if you want to play your finger symbols like I play them with all these clicking and clacking sounds. These may be a bit hard because when you do the clicking here, see I'm kind of touching my thumb with the, with the top finger symbol because they're a bit too small now for, the, for this purpose. So if you just want to play da -da 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 -da, the ringing sounds, then these will be fine. They're Naturally, they're also less expensive because they're a bit smaller. So I would recommend these only if you really just want to practice or if you just want to play the ringing sounds and not go crazy with all the percussive uh, sound effects. <laughs> okay, another set I have 
um, are these. These are no name. I have no idea who makes them. They look really pre pretty. They are also quite heavy. However, they have a major, major downside, which is, you see the elastic. They have these two tiny slots. And the problem is that the only type of elastic you can use here is this tiny, tiny thing, which when you place them on your fingers, they don't hold. I mean, I could, definitely I could make them tighter, but it wouldn't help much. You see, you can't really control a heavy instrument with just this tiny elastic. I mean, look at the difference. I've put in really uh, wide elastic on these ones. See the difference? I mean, these, I can play around, I mean, I can shake my hands, I can dance, spin, nothing. Well, maybe not nothing, but they are securely placed on my fingers. These are not. So it's very important to pay attention to, to actually not only the finger symbol itself, but also to the type of elastic which you will be able to use later on when you place them on your on your fingers. Usually when you purchase a set of finger symbols they come with an elastic. Um, I tend to use wider elastic, even the wider one that, than the one that comes with them. I just discard the ones that were was attached to, uh, that, that came with these and I put my uh, I bought my own really wide elastic here because it's very very important to have your finger symbols secure on your fingers otherwise they might slip from your finger and hit your fellow dancer or someone from the audience and that is a major fail okay so these pretty quite heavy and I like this sound they produce it's not very ringing, but it's nice. I like the sound of these, but I can't use them because of the tiny, teeny, tiny slots they have here. 